Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, to be honest to the elders in Israel that rule well. Peace unto the elect house of David. This is Zarek, the 17th chapter. I'm going to read for quite a bit. I'm going to read for quite a bit. So the Lord Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, created man of the earth and turned him into it again. He gave them few days and a short time and power also over the things therein. He endued them with strength by themselves and made them according to his image and put the fear of man upon all flesh and gave him dominion over beasts and fowls. They received the use of the five operations of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that's your senses. And in the sixth place, he imparted them understanding and in the seventh speech, an interpreter of the cognitions thereof. And that's a whole, that's a whole verse in itself. But basically, you got your five senses. The sixth sense is understanding. The seventh is speech. So there's seven senses. Then it goes on. Counsel and a tongue and ears, sorry, and eyes, ears and a heart gave he them to understand. Withal, he filled them with the knowledge of understanding and shewed them good and evil. He set his eye upon their hearts that he might shew them the greatness of his works. He gave them to glory in his marvellous acts forever that they might declare his works with understanding and the elect shall praise his holy name. Kahala Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for and heritage. He made an understanding covenant with them and shewed them his judgments. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory, of his um, Hathapa, uh, uh, Hathapa Arath. That's, I believe that's, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> and there is, heard his glorious voice and he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. What else should we beware of? Beware of who? Beware of what? So this is um, this is Matthew chapter ten, verse sixteen, through. Uh, let's just read. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So what does that mean? You have to have that wisdom, knowing what's to come, knowing the judgment, but not carrying it out right now, not yet, not yet. It says, but beware of men. For they will deliver you up to the councils and they will they will scourge you in the synagogues and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not you that speaketh, but the spirit of your father, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, which speaketh in you. And it goes on to how uh, a certain amount of affliction but the key thing is beware of men. Beware of men. Meaning, beware how you act, what you do. You shouldn't only be beware of men. Beware of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. That's a real fear. But there's certain things that are lawful, but not expedient. So beware of men. Beware of men. That's all I want to say. So Shalom. Ka'ala Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Double honest to the elders in Israel that rule well. Shalom.